Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm Kyle with Call Hammer Supply. And um, <clears throat> first of all, apologies, we haven't uh, published a brew video in quite some time now. We've been getting tons of emails, comments, uh, etc. I wanted to make this quick update video to tell you why. We have been actually working, uh, instead of brewing and drinking beer, we've been doing real work, and here's why. Uh, when we rolled out our brewing system, not everybody even knows this because we're not very explicit about it in our brew videos, but we actually sell the brewing system we use in our brew videos um, on our website, Clawhammer Supply. We uh, produced only 100 units of our pilot system um, as a first run, having no idea what kind of demand to expect. We were hoping we'd cycle through with them in about six months. What happened though was demand was way higher than we expected and we sold out completely in about two and a half months. So um, because it went so well, we decided to hit pause on the entire operation and move on to version two of our brewing system. Um, <clears throat> it's something that we knew we were gonna do at some point. The first version of the controller, although great, it was our first crack um, at making a controller. Worked amazingly well, it works amazingly well. However, this is version two here, and as you can tell, it's about half the size. That's because everything that's in here, all of the components are reduced down to two custom printed boards in this little box. Which means a couple things. One, it's much smaller, as you can see, uh, so it's easier to store, work with, etc. Two, it's less expensive. Three, though, that means for us to offer it at a lower price, actually, we have to order about a thousand of these things. <clears throat> we have to mass produce them, essentially. We've got a Kickstarter right now that you can and should go check out if you're interested in buying one of these brew systems. If you're one of the people that's been calling us or emailing us, whatever, messaging us, go to the link in this video. We have a Kickstarter project. Um, depending on when you watch this video, it's live right now. If the Kickstarter is over, then obviously go to our website. We're doing pre-orders for the new system on our Kickstarter page right now. So go check it out. The controller, new controller is going to be rad. It's going to be exactly the same as the old one. Um, we'll have independent pump and um, heating element operation. We'll support a 1650 watt element. The controller will look very similar to this, but be slightly different, um, slightly different layout. So it's going to be super cool. And like I said, it's going to be less expensive assuming we meet our Kickstarter goal. That's gonna take a couple of months, a few months to play out. The Kickstarter has to run through, we have to place an order, and then we have to wait for the manufacturing process to wrap up, box it all up and ship it. If you are one of those instant gratification people, I'm one of those people, and you don't want to wait, here is uh, the option that would be the best for you. This is a brand new controller by Inkbird, very similar to our controller, you might know. This is a heating element controller uh, that they manufacture. It's an off-the-shelf product. The problem with this is that it supports an element and an alarm. Once your project hits the set point, an alarm rings, whatever, that doesn't really do much good for pump operation. Um, ideally, like in our old and new controller, you'll be able to operate the pump with the push of a button. Um, with this, you can't do that. However, we've discovered a hack with this little on-off switch uh, that you can plug right into the alarm. Assuming you have your alarm set to a low temp, meaning it's essentially always on, you can operate the heating element and with the push of a button and the pump with the flip of a switch. This feature is very important to us at least we've discovered while brewing, if you ever have an issue where the hose pops out of something or the quick release comes loose or something, you want to be able to turn your pump off quickly. It's always best to have just an instant push button on off. Uh, so this is a shortcut. This is going to be available immediately on our website with our brew kit. This is a stopgap product. We're going to uh, be releasing instructions and videos and whatnot on how to use this. Essentially what it's going to be is our kit with this um, at uh, a lower cost actually than, than the old controller cost to make. So there will be a bit of a cost savings there. You'll be able to buy this immediately. There will be a slight sort of workaround, but we've tested it out and it works great. So that's what we've been up to. Um, 
And those are your options. Please check out our Kickstarter campaign if you're looking for the next version of the controller. Please check out the new the Stopgap product on our website if that's what you're interested in. And stay tuned. We will be releasing new Day videos next week. Uh, I believe the next one we're going to roll out is a pre-prohibition spring water lager that we just wrapped up, which is delicious. Cheers.